We'll learn about how to read concrete, look into what pinholes are, what causes them, and discuss how to work with the concrete to prevent pinholes from forming. And welcome back to another episode of Tech Talks. I'm Matt from the R&D team here at All Purpose Coatings. Over the next few episodes, we'll learn about how to read concrete, look into what pinholes are, what causes them, and discuss how to work with the concrete to prevent pinholes from forming. Reading a concrete substrate is a crucial skill to ensuring the successful application of various epoxy systems. There are a number of key elements to consider. Is the concrete porous or dense? Is there a rising moisture problem? How hard or soft is the substrate? Are there any sealers present? Understanding these key factors is essential to avoiding potential problems during the application process. It will also help to determine whether you will need a sacrifice coat or a ceramic scratch coat, which is crucial during the quoting phase of a project. A simple water test can help determine concrete softness and porosity, or hardness and density, and indicate the presence of sealers. It's a pretty straightforward test. You pour a cap full of water onto the concrete and spread it with your finger or foot to create a thin layer. Let the water sit for the next 10 to 20 minutes. The faster the absorption of the water, the softer or more porous the concrete is. The slower the absorption, the harder or denser the concrete is. If the water doesn't absorb at all, it indicates the presence of a sealer or densifier. Most concrete slabs will require a heavy grind to take the top surface off, then use a recommended 10 to 15% APC thinners in the prime coat. For concrete that was rain damaged at the time of pouring, we would actually recommend a heavy grind and a sacrificial coat of our GP Clear Epoxy. For hard, dense concrete, a heavy grind with a recommendation of 20 to 25% APC thinners for your prime coat. Concrete with a densifier or guard present, a heavy grind with 16 to 25 grit super soft diamonds to get a key is needed. Then perform another water test after grinding and proceed based on those results. If there is a sealer present, it will need to be removed via grinding. If there is epoxy present and you are confident that the epoxy is stable, perform a heavy 40 grit sand. For pitted concrete, you will have to do a heavy grind, then a prime coat followed by a ceramic scratch coat. Super soft and powdery concrete will actually require a very quick and light grind if possible. If not, then a heavy vacuum followed by a sacrificial prime coat of our GP Clear Epoxy with 15% APC thinners to harden the slab. Once the epoxy coat has cured, proceed to light grind in preparation with 30 grit diamonds. Do not skip the grinding step. The coat of GP Clear is used to harden the concrete so that you're actually able to grind it. The best way to think of concrete is like a sponge with lots of different capillaries and tiny holes of air pockets or cracks where air and moisture can become easily trapped. Just like a sponge, concrete can also crack, leak, shrink, grow, absorb water and air, as well as release water and air it's naturally quite a porous and active substrate. Though each and every concrete slab is different, pinholes are something that will unfortunately and annoyingly naturally occur in all of them. Some slabs produce more holes than others, especially newer slabs. But when working with concrete every day, it's important to understand how to spot the difference between slabs and work with each accordingly. Next fortnight, we're we'll looking at exactly what pinholes are and how they are formed. So don't forget to subscribe below to be notified when episode two is available. Thank you for watching and we'll see you in the next one.